Finally, we come to the stateless method, which is very useful when for us to check for systems that have multiple grounding uh, connection connected in parallel. To do this, yeah, we we'll make we we'll connect make selection to the three pole, but actually we are using the two clamp method. So one is the sourcing clamp, whereas the other is the sensing clamp. The important thing to take note is that these two have to be separated by at least 10 cm apart. And the advantage that we are uh, have able to offer this compared to our competitor is the clamp that we are using. It's a big size clamp, 50 mm. Uh, there are some uh, encounter where we found that the grounding cables are actually quite thick. The usual 20 mm uh, clamp would not be able to access that. So for that situation, the 1625 or the 1623 with the clamp set offer a very good choice. So now looking at the multiple rods, uh, grounding rod, and usually in such a system, their grounding resistance should be typically about the same for every one of them, except that now we want to find out that could so there be any of these happen to be uh, varies due to put a uh, deterioration in the uh, connection because of uh, either corrosion or uh, loosening over time. So to do this, we are able to now do the test. Now, for example, we are clamping on this particular the red cable. The red test. Yeah, we are able to get certain amount. Okay, why we get about one point seven? Uh, ohm here is because of the multiple, uh, there are four 1 ohm resistor. So, if we based on theoretical calculation, you should get about 1.3 ohm. Uh, here we get uh, close to the uh, result of about 1.7 ohm. So, even if there are some of these resistance, they are, uh, due to, uh, they are some having some bad connection, we are still able to run the test. So the idea is actually to find out whether any of these resistors are deteriorated. Yep. So even let's say one of them can go and do as high as one <coughs> hundred ohm. We still doesn't affect the result much. So what we will do is that we will check each of them to f uh, eventually look up, find out the one that has been de uh, deteriorated. So we check this one. Yeah, so we're one point close to one point nine. So this one have no problem, but yeah, finally able to locate this guy here. Yeah, so See, yeah, it should be this one that deteriorated. So we find that one of this one is deteriorated. So we are able to tell that again one of these rod is having problem because the reading is a lot different compared to the other nominal resistance. So that is the advantage of doing the stateless method without having to uh, disconnect the grounding rod, uh, grounding interconnection 
there's also no need to drive in the uh, uh, state RS and RH because in the urban area there are simply no place for the state to be uh, put in for the testing. So to that we actually conclude the stateless method. I mean also all the ways that we can test the ground resistance.